Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just when you think, just when you think that Pakistan will get its act together, they go ahead and do something to dig their grave even further. This time around, Pakistan is working tirelessly to try and position themselves as the leaders of the Muslim world. If the Muslim world unites in its support to the terrorist group called Hamas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep aside why they would do it. Because honestly, why not? If there was a leader Pakistan could be, it would be realistically to do with being the king of terrorist support. But the fact is that they are broke financially, they are broken within. The Taliban is very aggressive with them, breathing down their neck. The Baloch are rising like never before. And of course, we are one strike away from POK. And here they are floundering about at rallies full of Hamas supporters. They are claiming that if they want to unite the Muslim world, they want to be the leaders of the Islamic world, that they are keeping an atom bomb with them and that atom bomb is not theirs, that they are the custodians of the Islamic atom bomb. And with the Islamic atom bomb, they will bomb the whole world and save the Muslim world. Ironically, nobody in the Muslim world is asking them. As usual, they are going there like beggars asking to be helped, etc. And out of power, Nawaz Sharif's son-in-law is showing up and claiming that, uh, you see, we have an atom bomb and the atom bomb is for the Muslim world. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Pakistan to get real. The only atom bomb erupting is on Pakistan's fate. The only atom bomb has already erupted on Pakistan's destiny. 